but I'd like everyone to click Per Environment, and you should get this screen. Now, just looking at this screen, let's, let's pretend we have a brand new patient. This is someone, a 72-year-old woman who's never worn hearing aids before. Um, based, or if you want to take an educated guess, what, what would be one thing you would probably do for a brand new fitting that you can do now with noise, this noise reduction for environment? What's one thing that, you know, with a new person, how can I make them comfortable? If it's a new user, can you make them too comfortable in noise? Probably not. So I'm routinely going during a new fitting to the noise and loud noise settings and just cranking up the noise reduction to maximum. Okay, why not? Let's make the, the patient as comfortable as we can when they're noisy situation. So that's one adjustment I can do now that I wasn't able to do before. And I think it's gonna make a lot more people happy. So go ahead and make that adjustment. That way your patient's more comfortable if they go in noise, because it's only noise. If it's speech and noise, it's not going to use as much noise reduction. Okay? So hit save, and now you've made that adjustment there. As we go down the left, you have physical properties. That's just documenting what kind of venting you might have or the length of the receiver tubing. A venting guide is our guide to help you with some basic troubleshooting. Data logging, that'll get populated after 50 hours of wear time. It'll show you, you know, how much time are they wearing it, how much time are they in each memory. It will also show you how much time they're streaming, which I think will be nice to be able to check. 